Hey, uh, Bobcat 8 has just been finished today, or rather the sheath has just finished today. Um, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd show what I've come up with. Uh, last video I showed a prototype of um, a frog carry sheath. So the feedback I got from people on that was um, that they needed some kind of secure system, a securing system that was easy to release. So that's that's what I've developed with this one. Um, if I show the sheath first of all, so it's the same as before, only in a chocolate brown to sort of match the uh, bog oak handle on Bobcat 8. Uh, but with the addition of a sort of snap system on the back here so that once that's unsnapped the the thing comes out so that the idea being that would be still on your belt and that, that slides back in and then just snaps back on on the back there. Okay, so you would sort of carry that and you can access the thing on the back reasonably quickly and easily. Okay, so that's the sheath. Uh, the knife itself, um, Bobcat 8, Of, oh well, first of all, it's a bog oak handle, stabilised, with yellow fibre liners, and quite large brass Corby bolts. A couple of differences on Bobcat 8 is a little bit of jimping on the back there. Uh, I had to do that with a small diamond file because the blade was already hardened. Um, and I've put a sort of oxidised finish on it, so dipping it into ferric chloride. It's not stayed as black as I would have liked, but uh, that was like my first play with that. Okay, so that's Bobcat 8. That's the logo. This is already sold. Um, I put it on Facebook and uh, it's actually been bought by uh, Brett. Brett, who, Brett Shelton, I think it is, that uh, bought Bobcat 3. So it's the first person to own uh, two Bobcats. So I hope you like it, guys. Uh, any comments on any further developments? Any ideas? I'd, I'd like to hear them, as usual. I have made a fire steel for this. I'm still kind of a bit, still developing my fire steel skills. But I've made a, a matching one in uh, with a yellow fibre liner centre there and uh, stabilised bog oak. Uh, I'm not putting it in there just yet. The position, uh, because the res the um, the resin hasn't really set fully yet, uh, so it needs to cure before I'd be happy to put it in. So if I just use the uh, my usual standby, the idea is that it goes in here. You could carry it above or below. It's a bit of a tight fit at the moment, but that's kind of how I like it really. And uh, I'll put a simple sort of securing elastic on it like I did with this one. So it'll carry there. You could carry it above, of course, if you prefer to carry it above. I might wet mould this, actually, so that it slides a little bit more easily in and out. Okay. Um, developments in the workshop. 
Uh, just at the moment, that's, if you look at the corner there, I've got a distribution box in. Uh, I just need to go and buy the sort of requisite number of uh, sockets, cable, switches, etc. Uh, a bit busy this half term with coursework marking, to be honest, to get on with that. And uh, me and my good lady are going away for a night. It's, uh, uh, her 50th birthday is coming up in November so I'm going to be a bit short on time to be finishing that which is a pity because I really wanted to but not to worry uh, I'll get round to it in the next couple of weeks with a bit of luck ok hope you enjoyed uh, looking at Bobcat 8 like I said any feedback gratefully received